after going through this video clip, you will be able to understand triangles and its properties. Solve problems related to properties of triangles. Understand solutions of problems given in the exercises. The triangle and its properties. A triangle is a closed figure having three line segments, three angles and three vertices. This is a triangle in which angle one, angle two and angle three are the three interior angles of a triangle. Vertex A, vertex B and vertex C are the three vertices of this triangle. Line segment AB, BC, and SC are the three sides of this triangle. Besides this, there are some other parts of a triangle. Median, a line segment joining the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side is called the median of a triangle. This is a given triangle A, B, C. Here, AD is a line segment joining the vertex A to the midpoint of BC, in which BD is equal to DC because D is the midpoint of BC. BE is a line joining the midpoint of the opposite side AC, in which AE is equal to EC and CF is a line segment joining the midpoint of AB in which BF is equal to FA. So the medians of this triangle are line segment AD, line segment BE, and line segment CF. Altitude. A line segment drawn from the vertex in which the other end of the line segment is perpendicular to the opposite side is called the altitude of a triangle. In this triangle ABC, AD is a line segment joining the vertex A to the opposite side BC and AD is perpendicular to the opposite side, BC. And BE is a line segment joining the opposite side, AC, in which BE is perpendicular to the opposite side, AC. CF is also a line segment joining the opposite side, AB, in which CF is perpendicular to AB. So in this triangle, AD, BE, and CF are the altitudes of this triangle ABC. Okay, students, now you have understood certain properties and the related parts of a triangle. Let us try to solve certain problems from exercise 6.1. Question number one is, in triangle PQR, D is the midpoint of QR. In this given triangle P, Q, and R, the question has given that D is the midpoint of QR. In this figure, D is the midpoint of Q and R, which means the distance from Q to D and the distance from D to R are equal. So, sub number one, PM is what? Let us take a look from this figure. PM is a line segment which is drawn from the vertex perpendicular to the opposite side, making 90 degree. So PM is on altitude. Sub number two, PD is this. From this figure, a line segment PD is a line which is drawn from the vertex 
meeting the midpoint of the opposite side, QR. D is the midpoint of QR, such that QD is equal to DR. So, PD is a median. Sub number three, is QM is equal to MR? Observing from this figure, the distance from Q to M is not equal to the distance from M to R. So, QM is not equal to MR according to this figure. So, we can make the answer like this. No, QM is not equal to MR because M is not the midpoint of QR. Question number two. Draw rough sketches for the following. Sub number A. In triangle ABC, BE is a median. Here we have to draw a triangle ABC whose median is BE. We can make the solution like this. Step one. Draw a triangle ABC. This is the triangle ABC in which A, B, and C are the vertices of the triangle. Step two, draw a line segment from vertex B, meeting the midpoint of AC at E. A line segment is drawn from the vertex B to the opposite side AC, meeting at the midpoint E. Here, E is the midpoint of AC. In this figure, BE is a median joining the vertex B to the midpoint of AC. Sub number B, in triangle PQR, PQ and PR are altitudes of a triangle. In this question, we have to draw a triangle PQR, but the two sides of the triangle should be the altitudes of that triangle. We can make the solution like this. Step one, draw a line segment PQ, which is perpendicular to another line segment PR, and which in turn, this line segment PR is also perpend perpendicular to the previous line segment PQ. Here, PQ is perpendicular to PR and PR is also perpendicular to PQ. Join Q and R. Joining Q and R. Here, in this triangle, the two sides of the triangle PQ and PR becomes the altitudes of the triangle PQR. Sub number C. In triangle XYZ, YL is an altitude in the exterior of the triangle. Here we have to draw a triangle XYZ whose altitude YL should be in the outside of the triangle. We can make the solution like this. Step one. Draw a triangle XYZ. This is a triangle XYZ whose vertices are X, Y, and Z. Step two, produce XZ. The line XZ is produced to certain distance. Step three, draw perpendicular YL on XZ produced. We are going to draw a perpendicular line YL on XZ produced and making a right angle. Here, the line segment YL is an altitude which is drawn in the exterior of the triangle XYZ. Question number three. Verify by drawing a diagram if the median and altitude of an isosceles triangle can be the same. Here in this question, we are going to verify that the median of an isosceles triangle can also be the altitude of the same isosceles triangle. We can make the solution like this. 
Step one. Draw an isosceles triangle ABC in which AB is equal to AC. This is an isosceles triangle ABC whose vertices are A, B, and C. A, B, and SC are the two equal sides of this isosceles triangle. Step two, draw an altitude AD perpendicular on BC. Here, the line segment AD is an altitude which is drawn perpendicular on BC, making right angle. Step three, draw a median from the vertex A to the midpoint of BC. This is the median which is drawn from the vertex A to the midpoint of BC. Step four, here we are observing that BD is equal to DC. The distance from B to D and the distance from D to C are equal. In this figure, the altitude and the median lies exactly at the same location. So, AD is the median as well as the altitude of an isosceles triangle ABC.